After two days of mountains on the Tour of Catalonia, stage five and a long distance run of 206 kilometers, destination Villanova. Well, it almost seems cruel to have the longest stage of the race coming after the trials of the mountains. And indeed, illness has been a trial for many here and lots of fast men absent, or at least support riders as well. Mayerhofer, Matthews, De Vriant, Milano this morning, joining Colbrelli and others that could have had an option on a day like this. So a thinned down sprinter's roster, I think you might say. With the breakaway, fancy the challenge. Quintana wearing the leader's jersey but sharing the time with Almeida of UAE Team Emirates. And it meant that the intermediate sprints had the potential to do some damage, at least for the overall classification on this day. Well, the first of those intermediate sprints came and went with the breakaway of three riders, Nicolau from Cairo Rural, Martin from Uscatel and Berardi from Equipo Kern Pharma all up the road. They rolled through that first of the two intermediates, but the last one coming with just under 17 kilometers to go was to prove to be vital. Well, the breakaway, it was tagged as teams started to get interested in moving up and around within the general classification. Johansson himself from Uno X Pro wanted something out of this sprint and was determined to take it. Equally, UE Team Emirates were there, but where was Almeida? He wearing the young riders classification jersey seemed to be nowhere. Quintana was very much in the frame and had been duking it out, trying to find a way through and gain some seconds. And then suddenly this, at that crucial intermediate with three, two and one bonus seconds. Well, Johannesson took it, but we were looking to see who it was that had finished in the points and indeed those vital seconds. And Almeida was third across the line, Quintana was fourth over the line. And that meant that Almeida took the lead of this race, starting on equal time with Quintana by a solitary second. A remarkable moment and possibly a defining one for the race. So as we headed for the line, who would roll the dice? Well, it had to be a long shot, I guess, for Carapaz, who decided to reach out and try. Others were to do the same, but ultimately it was about the sprint team's marshalling control to make sure that their fast man had some more fun on this day. 2.7 kilometres to go, and Rowan Dennis was doing a lot of the driving out there. Well, we thought, ho hoping for David Decker to come forward, but he was absent. Sam Oman just staying safe. And then Caden Groves was guided in a position by Team Bike Exchange at one of the last corners. It looked like they may well skittle away with this. Bauhaus was going to have to go solo. When we came around one of the last of these roundabouts, a little bit of contact down there. Just drifting over for Kern Farmer. Galvan just tagging a wheel and, and Vilda hitting the deck. So what about those further up the road? That was the big question. Bauhaus looked like he was going to be in a more or less perfect position to, to go for it. Hofstetter was also in the frame from R.K. Samsic in the red. But uh, with over 5 hours and 20 minutes in the saddle, they spread across the road with plenty of sprint options, but one man was head and shoulders above them all. Ethan Vernon was heading for the line and was not about to be headed. A remarkable performance from Quickstep. They taking the victory, so well deserved. So many more having their hopes dashed at the very last. Well, something of a, a slight ramp towards the end. Vernon tying his run to perfection. Joy for him, disappointment for most others. Joy as well for Almeida. They had to review that intermediate sprint several times before declaring him the leader of this race. Vernon taking the sprint ahead of Bauhaus, Godon, Boivin, Groves. Lars was there. Penelava, Oliveira, Hofstetter fading to ninth after such a, an effective lead in. Guillaume Martin riding out the top ten. Well, one heck of a day for the quick men and a crucial one overall as well. A new leader it will be then that takes us for a busy weekend. Vernon delighted to have taken that step forward. He finished fourth on the second stage that had been taken by Groves. Almeida then, at the head of proceedings, with a one-second advantage over Quintana going into the weekend. Well, there are more bonus seconds up for grabs in the run to Cambrace. Calgary 1 test, Calgary 2, and then a high plains intermediate sprint. Almeida will probably go for it. Quintana most certainly will. It could be dramatic if the breakaway don't have their fun early on tomorrow. 
profile looks like that that intermediate sprint so early and another one at the end of the day it's so close in catalonia so many different names could indeed be triumphant by the end